Hey guys, James and Mark here with another mukbang. Today we have a very special guest, Matt. Yay! Say hello to all the tens of people who watch us. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are doing uh, Jollibee. Because our friend Matt never had Jollibee before. So um, before we start, what do you know about Jollibee? There's a bee on the front uh -huh. and it's a red building. Jollibee is actually a really popular Filipino food chain. Okay. And um, and it's also popular here in the States too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very popular. So, so we ended up picking up pretty much all of their staple, iconic, yeah. iconic foods. And we thought it'd be fun for you to Try get it. to eat it on camera for everyone. Does any, anything not look familiar to you? I mean, we've got some fried chicken here. I'm pretty <laughs> used to that. And some spaghetti. Okay. Uh, that combo maybe. <laughs> not used to. And then there's some... Really tiny shrimp with uh, <laughs> some clear noodles. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. And uh, looks like pork or I'm some not kind of, sure. Some, some kind of breading protein, and right? uh, fried eggs or oh, awesome. boiled eggs. Well, so we're gonna try each item, and then we're. I'm so curious about your reaction. So we'll, I mean, we'll try. Yeah, it looks pretty good individually. But not... <laughs> <laughs> you choose your chicken. I always prefer these uh, drumsticks. Okay. Sure, I'll get it. Oh, and there's a flag. I'll be like you yeah. too. Oh, it's spicy. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you, love, you love spicy, love spicy right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Let's just cheers to kind of get out the nerves. Yeah. Are you nervous at all? Yeah. Yeah? Let's, let's cheers. <laughs> <laughs> let's down this. All right, cheers. cheers. It's going to be Harper and Central. Had <laughs> chicken dipped in gravy like this before? Uh, no. The okay. closest thing is probably let's, Thanksgiving. Let's give it a so try. yeah, give it a try and then, uh, you know. I mean, it makes sense. Some mashed potatoes and everything. All right. So, dip it in. All right. All right, ready? Let's, ready. Cheers. Mmm. That's really good. Yeah? It's very crispy, that's what I like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if you had to compare it to KFC or Popeyes, um, what would you say? What's different? It's really good. I I think I would put it up there at the top, maybe. Ooh. Really? Yeah, I really like it. Yeah? My, Karina's a big uh, KFC. KFC supporter, yeah, so she <laughs> might not like that. She needs to come and try this. <laughs> Karina is Matt's wife. She wasn't <laughs> able to join us. For today, is she working? Mm hmm Okay. Today's my off Friday, so... It's got me up and out of the house. <laughs> well... I even took a shower for you guys. Ooh, very special. <laughs> you didn't use soap. <laughs> <laughs> Matt used to be, like, our immediate neighbor. Yeah. And recently he moved away, and it's actually kind of sad. Mm-hmm. That he's no longer, like, footsteps away. Yeah, yeah. and you had your housewarming party, oh, and yeah. you weren't invited. How was that? <laughs> you definitely were invited. Uh, we had to schedule it while you were in Japan, unfortunately. <laughs> that was on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, Karina's mom was in town, yeah. and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to have a, a Mark and James two. party. Yeah. I mean, do you taste the spiciness at all? Yeah. You do? I definitely taste a, a spicy seasoning. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like a hot sauce or anything like, no. like chicken wings. Yeah. Plot twist, this isn't actually chicken. It's a Filipino delicacy. <laughs> the dodo bird. Do people eat those? Dirk sting. Oh. I'm going to mix the sauce a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay. When's the last time you've had spaghetti? Oh, that's uh, Karina and my sister's favorite dish, so oh. uh, we don't ever go too long without it. I think we went to Roman Cucina in downtown Florida. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a really good Italian when, restaurant. When Karina's mom was in town. This is not your typical spaghetti. Yeah, we'll tell you that much, at least. By the texture or this? There's, I'm noticing some things in the sauce here. <laughs> like, is that garlic? <laughs> Here's, that's a long reach. I'm thinking this is some kind of hot dog. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, real quick before we keep going, can you say the word mukbang? Mukbang. Yeah, I don't know why. I really like it when Matt says that. <laughs> <laughs> How 
Have you watched any of our videos? Not to put you on the spot, but like, well, so, we don't expect you to watch all of them. So but here's like, the thing: is uh, we never had to watch it on YouTube. We mostly just peered through the window. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, I wonder what they're eating today. Well, there's some other things going on in here. <laughs> all right. Well, I thought they were chunks of tomato at first. Hmm. <laughs> Not what you thought, right? It's a lot sweeter than mm. I'm used to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the honeybee at it again, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the sweetness comes from a, pro uh, a type of ketchup called banana ketchup. Yeah. Mm. Some people also said that there might be condensed milk in it too, oh, okay. but usually people say banana ketchup. They like the hot dog. I'm, I'm a hot dog connoisseur, so I'm a pretty tough critic. I'm just going to go ahead and say that the, the fried chicken was was higher on my list. Well, you like the chicken more than the spaghetti? Yeah. Okay. Would you consider yourself more of a sweet or savory person? Mm, definitely enjoy a good dessert, but... Just in my main entree and appetizer, definitely more savory. Because mm. we have dessert today. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, great. Yeah. And it's not the spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of desserts, uh, Matt is infamous for making homemade ice cream. Infamous? Are they really bad? or? No, uh, infamous is in a good way. Like notorious. Notor uh, notorious, notorious sounds bad, too. More than famous. Yeah, more than famous. But he... Um, no, that's it. For a while, he was making uh, ice cream for everyone's birthday, and then last year he took a break. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was well deserved. And then we've been moving. We've having been having trouble with our freezer and fridge, so oh. had to defrost it today. We'll we'll get the ice cream sandwiches back up and running pretty quick. Mark, do you remember that one time when Matt said he was making us ice cream for our birthdays, and we were watching a movie? And then out of the corner of our eye, we saw through his window, and he was, like, working. really working hard yeah. on whatever. He was half naked. Well, that too. <laughs> yeah. I don't wear a shirt when I cook. Oh, lesson learned. I was cooking steak without a shirt on. I have a huge burn, oil uh, burn, no. on the side of my stomach. So, wear clothes. Except if you're making ice cream, are you dealing with anything hot usually? Freezer burn. Oh no, you're cu you're cooking the cream down. The uh, sometimes no. Uh yeah, you do bring the uh, cream to a boil before yeah. you put it into the uh, the fridge. Mm. So this one is called fiesta noodles, right? Yeah, fiesta noodles uh, or palabuk. Try saying that. Palabuk. Mm -hmm. And then um, you're supposed to squeeze some lemon juice on it. Do you want to do us the honor? Uh. Over the whole thing? Over yeah, just around. We might need two. I wonder if these would work as like chasers. <laughs> you think so? Or it'd be too sour. With tequila shots. Yeah. Oh, do we have tequila? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we drank it all. <laughs> have you ever had I mean we've been to a couple of parties at uh, Nina and Julius's and you've had their noodles there, right? It's similar yeah. oh, okay. it's similar yeah. to that. The, um like a pan seat dish. Matt recently went to what China not too long ago. Yeah, what was March, the what was the strangest March. thing you ate there? I definitely have to say the rabbit's head. Uh, it was a Szechuan style restaurant, uh -huh. and they give you these plastic gloves and bib, and they serve you a rabbit's head. Were the ears still on it? Like the no. Okay, so it's mostly... I would think that's the best part of a rabbit. No, the rabbit the ears. <laughs> well, that's what I don't think there's any meat. Yeah, yeah, they're known for their ears, yeah. Uh, I think that would creep me out, seeing yeah. it. How about the, do you no, see the teeth? No, it's just the, yeah, the teeth are there. You have to pry the mouth open and and then, like, break the jaw off. Oh, wow. And then, yeah, you eat the cheek meat and the tongue. <clears throat> and then you break the skull open and scoop the eyeball out and eat that <laughs> and the brain. Uh, oh, you eat the brain, too? Yeah. So did you, well, yeah. How was the taste? Uh, how was the thing? Um, Chicken. The brain was pretty mushy. Oh, it wasn't like a meat, really. It was more like a paste. Oh, 
The eyeball was pretty good. You just <laughs> pop that in your mouth. <laughs> right, let's try this. Uh, Party noodles? Party no. fiesta noodles. Oh, fiesta noodles. This really is a, a culture mashup. Um, Be candid. There's no like. It has a it, familiar taste, almost like angel hair pasta. Oh yeah, <laughs> it does. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else this tastes like. I actually don't know what the base of the sauce is. Mm -mm. Do you like it more than the spaghetti? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say yeah. Oh, you, oh, oh okay. yeah. Oh. Because I've had spaghetti, not my favorite spaghetti, but this is kind of unique. I mean, you like so. Yeah. I don't have anything to compare it to. Mm. It's very political. It's the best uh, fiesta, noodles. fiesta noodles I've ever had. I love them. What do you think Karina would like out of these? Um, I don't know. She might be biased on the fried chicken, so she'd probably say she wouldn't like that. The spaghetti. I, she'd probably like the fiesta noodles, just because it has the word fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we do dessert? Yeah, let's, let's get right to dessert. What does this look like to you? Well, without reading the words. <laughs> uh, this looks like a peach mango pie. <laughs> Uh, but this is, is it, actually one of Mark's favorite. But is it things. really peach mango? Yeah, that's the question. I don't know. Did you pull a fast one on me? <laughs> but yeah, every um, time we go to Jollibee, Mark has to get this. This no is the, the go to. Huh? Yeah. It looks pretty good. I think. Nice, nice crispiness to the pastry. This would be good with ice cream. Some oh my god, I was just gonna say that. Vanilla ice hint, cream. Hint, oh some, yeah. Um, <laughs> some homemade ice cream. All right, that's the next ice cream coming up. Peach, Jolly Bee, peach mango mm. ice cream. When was the last time you um, were on camera or being filmed in such a way? Probably the last time you asked me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. Karina, what do you want to do for dinner? It's not so bad, right? After a while, you forget the camera's there. Or no, you you, you know it's there. Still pretty much in the forefront. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Yes, yeah, any, last, any last yeah. comments about Jollibee? You, I, it sounds like you would definitely get the fried chicken again. Yeah, next time Karina wants KFC, I'll uh, suggest Jollibee and we'll drive over and there. before we head out every video we have like a word of the day and you choose the word and then our uh, subscribers in the comments say that word so that we know they watched up to this part so you can choose whatever word you want I'll do neighbors oh. okay neighbors so use neighbors in uh, <laughs> your comment down below if you guys have questions for Matt also leave them down below and then we'll relay it to him and then maybe You'll come back in another video. Maybe we'll get Karina to come to. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I think Karina she would love it. Uh, would you? She, she, she has she has natural star potential. Not that you don't, but she <laughs> she's just like. We'll do drink bond next time. Oh, she and Karina. Karina. They would yeah. be hilarious on that. Yeah, she loves the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.